Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I just uploaded Friday, but I had actually already had that video pre-recorded. I didn't have a specific day to upload it, and Friday was like the perfect day, so I uploaded that on Friday. But I still wanted to give you my regular upload today. And also I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing my longer talking mukbangs on Sundays and then doing smaller no talking videos on Wednesdays just so I can give you guys more of a variety of videos and it also is like a base structure it's not like I'm going to be doing that every single week but just like a baseline to follow so let me know what you guys think of that so for example like today's video would be a Sunday video and then the video I uploaded on Friday would be more like a Wednesday's video let me know what you think I'm so excited because today I have more jajangmyeon, some black bean noodles. I got a few requests to do some more black bean noodles, so of course I'm going to do them because black bean noodles are one of my favorites. And then I also got a request to do shin ramen, so this is some vegan shin ramen. Um, I'm very excited to see how it is. I haven't had it before, so yes. <laughs> and then also for today's video, I just barely went on a trip to Kentucky to see my oldest sister and it was so much fun so I'm going to be telling you guys about that trip but we're gonna start with the food today because I'm so excited and I have some wooden chopsticks last time I think I used my rainbow metal ones and they would just not pick up the food so I got my wooden ones today and I'm so excited to try this you guys I know I already said that but I just I just am. I need to figure out something else to say because I'm always saying I'm so excited. Okay, first bite of the Shin Ramen. That is so good. The flavor, it's spicy too. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my travel story because it's kind of a long one. So I traveled with my second older sister and her husband. We were there for about five days. We left on a Thursday. We flew over there and by the time we got there, it was probably, I think it was around two. But then we drove back to my oldest sister's house and... Her dog was so excited to see us. It was so cute. I freaking love her dog so much. He is my favorite dog in the entire world. Um, I like to call him my nephew because technically he is because he's my sister and her husband's dog. So he's my little nephew and he's just the cutest thing in the world. I will have some videos and pictures that I will put on the screen or eventually put on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but once we got there we kind of just settled and then we ended up going to the store to get some groceries and stuff and then that night we ended up watching Jujutsu Kaisen I don't know if you guys have seen that show it's an anime and I actually fell in love with it I thought it was so good I only saw like five episodes maybe but it was amazing. I loved it. I was so into it and it was so fun to watch with my sisters. Uh, I loved it.
That's just water, by the way. So then on Thursday, we ended up going to sleep after Jujutsu Kaisen. And then on Friday, that was probably my favorite day. We did this thing called cave kayaking. It was incredibly cool. Well, it wasn't in a cave. Well, it was a cave, but it was a man-made cave. It was a mine. And the miners ended up hitting a natural spring. And so the mine ended up flooding and they couldn't use it anymore. And they are now utilizing it to take people on tours kayaking through this cave. And it is the coolest thing ever. It's so dark in there. There was one point where we all turned off our headlamps because they provided headlamps and stuff like that. But we all turned off our lights and it was pitch black. Like you would wave your hand in front of your face and you couldn't even see your own hand. The tour guide, she was so cute and so cool. And she literally, the tour was probably almost an hour long. And the whole time she was going backwards. Anyway, it was so cool. And at one point, the natural spring that they had broken... We, like passed through it and you could go under it if you want and the girl said or the tour guide said that it was so clean that you could drink it which is so cool they actually the owner of the place put fish in the water in the cave and so we got to see some rainbow trout i think that's what it was they were huge um and i think the tour guide said that she had one that ended up flopping into her kayak at one point they also had like lights strung up on the ceiling and there were different things that you could see like things that the miners left for example some like work trucks and stuff like that so cool and i wish i could go back again i didn't take any pictures because it was dark and then after that we ended up going on a hike and it was so gorgeous you guys like it was so beautiful i don't know how to explain it but we went to this thing called Nature's Bridge, I'm pretty sure. And it was this huge rock formation that was literally a bridge. But it was huge. And we went under that. And I thought that that was it. Like you just go under it. But apparently there were steps on the side and you could go to the top. And it was so cool. And there was this outlook thing that you could see from there. And we ended up going to that outlook spot. Ugh, I just loved it. And then we went home and... I think we had a little campfire that night because my sister has um, one of those mobile campfire things. And so we roasted marshmallows and talked and then we went to bed. But that that was such an eventful day. It was so much fun. Okay, black bean noodle time. Mmm. I forgot how much I love these. Oh my goodness. These are delicious. And messy. <laughs> mm. I'm just getting tired.
So then on Friday, we ended up going downtown and went to this really cute little bakery called Bee's Bakery. They sometimes have vegan stuff, but unfortunately that day they didn't. But it was fine because the place was so cute and Mrs. B ended up being there so we got to meet her and she was so sweet. And then we ended up walking around downtown a little bit. It's so cute and quiet. It's just, it's clean. But it's an old town. Like they had old churches that had stained glass windows and we ended up going to this library that was made out of bricks and it also had stained glass windows it was just a lot of old buildings and i loved that after that we ended up going to this ice cream place that was so cute but it ended up being closed an hour early which was so unfortunate because we really wanted to get these this ice cream that my oldest sister really likes but it's fine because we ended up taking some really cute pictures in there and then we ended up going across the street to this other ice cream place or was a gelato place and it was so cute and the lady and they were so sweet and they also had vegan options they only had two they had a strawberry sorbet which i'm not a big fan of sorbet so i didn't really want that and then they had this apple crumble crunch or something but it just didn't sound good to me at the time so i just didn't get anything but my sister got this mint gelato that was so cute she got it in a cone so i took a picture of it because it was so aesthetically pleasing to me i'll pop it on the screen but then i'm pretty sure it was the same day we went back to my oldest sister's house to rest a little bit but then we did this thing called loot boxing and it's literally just the trend on youtube where you let the person in front of you in the drive through decide what you eat in a day or whatever so basically you go through the drive through and then whatever the person in front of you orders you ask for their order and you can't get anything else and so we did that it was actually really fun obviously i didn't get anything but it was so much fun to see what other people ordered and then my siblings once again enjoyed it and I just enjoyed their company. I think we went to, oh, Zaxby's, and then Chick-fil-A, then Steak and Shake, and then Wendy's, and then we didn't want to go anywhere else. But it was so much fun, and I just loved doing that because, I don't know, it was just fun. So you guys should try it. <laughs> and then to end off the night, well, we went back home, and then my sisters and I took her dog Arthas out on a walk, and it was so pretty. The area my sister lives in. Gorgeous. But um, we ended up seeing this thing in the sky. It was like a trail of stars it looked like. And it was moving across the sky. What is it? I have a video of it. We were freaking out because we had no clue what it was. And I had seen something like that before with my mom. And we had never figured out what it was. And of course my first thought was aliens, right? And I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's not aliens. I looked it up. And it is called a Skyline Satellite. And they just started launching them in 2019. They're most frequently seen in Ohio, Tennessee, like that area. So... Not aliens, unfortunately. It was just really interesting because we were freaking out, but just a satellite. Government trying to trick us again. I love the spice of this though because it's not too spicy and it's a good spice flavor like it's not just spice there's actually flavor in there too it's really good
Mm, those were so good. And then Sunday was super fun as well. Hold on. Don't know why it sounds like that. Uh, Sunday morning, we went to this farm. And you guys, probably one of the best farms I've ever been to in my entire life. They literally had chickens running rampant. They were everywhere, just running wild. Like, it's, they're having the time of their life. <laughs> but it was so cool. And they had goats you could feed and obviously pumpkins that you could purchase. And they grew their own tomatoes and gourds and corn and apples and sweet potatoes and cherry tomatoes which we got some of those and you guys cherry tomatoes from a farm are like candy they are so so good these were some of the best cherry tomatoes i've ever had they tasted just like my grandpa's cherry tomatoes that he used to grow in his garden and those were some of the best things i've ever tasted so it was pretty much heaven anyway we ended up getting some pumpkins and my sister got some for me. She's so sweet. So we got this pumpkin. So cute. I love the green. Then I got this small orange pumpkin. And yes, these will be going up there. Uh, if I don't forget. And then I got this baby white one. So cute. I think I'm going to name them since there's three. I think I'm going to name them Lock, Shock, and Barrel. From the nightmare before christmas i mean they don't really look like lock shock and barrel but there's three of them so i want to name them that so we ended up going in this corn maze and i've never been in a corn maze before it was so much fun and my sister and i ended up splitting up um from my other sister and her husband and we ended up going the wrong way but it was a spiral and at the end of the spiral we started <laughs> pretending like we were summoning a demon all jokes okay but then she was like the demon has been summoned run and so we ran through the core maze and it was just so much fun like i felt like a kid again and then we ended up getting out not through the entrance <laughs> we actually made it out and the guy said that not many people do most people end up coming back out through the entrance so i was kind of proud of myself and my siblings that we did that so that was one of the coolest experiences ever. It was just so new to me and so much fun. Mmm. I keep forgetting how good these are. So then after we went to the farm, we went home and just kind of hung out, but then we ended up going to the mall, and I think we just went home after that, yeah, because then we all just hung out and then played with Arthas, my oldest sister's dog, and then we played Smash Bros, and that was so much fun, <laughs> um, and then I just had some late night talks with my sisters, and it was just... It was amazing and much needed. This trip was like just a therapy therapy cleanse for me. It was amazing.
and then sadly monday morning was the morning that we went home and it was incredibly hard for me i just miss my oldest sister so much and she she makes me feel so good and happy and just spending that time with my siblings there's nothing like it it's unmatched and so i had a really really hard time coming home and i love that i can come back home and film for you guys because it's been so much fun but yeah that was pretty much my trip it was almost surreal it was a beautiful trip and i'm so grateful i got to go And Kentucky is so beautiful. It is humid and I can't stand the bugs. But the second day that I was there, my hair was so soft. The humidity is just so good for your hair and your skin. And I loved that. I was just playing with my hair all day because it was so soft. Mmm. Oh, the sauce. And the black beans that are not black beans. I don't know what they are, but they're delicious. I don't know what it is about ramen and noodles. Or like, noodles like this, but they are so easy to eat. I could easily have more. I'm full, but it's just so good that I could have so much more. These are definitely the best bites. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my little story time about my trip. It was seriously just almost euphoric. It was beautiful. And I'm just so grateful I got to go. And I can't thank my siblings enough. I just love them so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you made it through to the end of the video, I love you guys. You're the real MVP. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. By the way, it's free. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.